Okay, so I've just got some tins, some paint here, um, some double-sided tape and some colouring pencils. I've also got some um, paper that I've cut out and I've just drawn thing two on it. So if you've got two tins then for Dr Seuss you can draw thing one and thing two on the circular piece of paper and that later on will be stuck on the tin like this but we need to paint it first so if you want to get an empty tin like this just be careful um, because they do have sometimes have sharp bits at the top where it's been peeled so what I'd suggest is if you've got some duct tape um, to put that over the rim here to protect your fingers uh, just from the sharp bits or if you're putting it outside it'll protect the animals and insects from any sharp bits as well okay so that's what we'll do first we'll get some duct tape okay we'll just put that along the rim and you just put because it's circular you have to do little bits by little bits otherwise it won't go around the bends. There you go. Okay, now we're good to go. That's nice and safe. Lovely. So I'm just gonna, um, I've just got some acrylic paint here. Any acrylic paint will be fine. And I've just got some water and a paintbrush as well just to wash my brush. But I'm gonna paint this tin red for a Dr. Seuss theme. So you just put plenty of paint on, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so I've painted all the way around the tin can. So you can get these tins from like baked beans or mangoes or whatever is in your cupboard. So or soup or, so if you don't have one then why not have some soup today and then you can make one of these cool things. Now you don't have to do the bottom, but I think I will just to make it look cool from the top. So I'll just quickly cover that. It doesn't take long to cover it in paint. Okay, and basically you just want to put that somewhere to dry. And you want to wash your brush as well. So whilst that's drying, um, you can make your things that you're going to stick on it. So the paper thing one and thing two, and that's going to go on there later on. So if you want to cut out a circular piece of paper, I've just used some scrap paper as you can see. You can use any paper, any colour if you like. Um, just write it on there in black pen. You'll need some double sided sticky tape or some glue or some sellotape, however, whatever you've got to stick it on in a minute. And if you've got some blue tissue paper or um, blue paper or even just magazine um, strips or anything you can find in your house, maybe it's a blue plastic bag, you can cut it into strips, um, use whatever you've got and later on we'll be tying them onto the bottom here or just gluing them on or sticking them to make this cool wind thing that you can hang up inside your garden okay so um, with your other tin I've just got a small one from some sweet corn um, I'm going to do like a Winnie the Pooh theme um, again if you want to put some tape around the rim just to stop your fingers from um, you know getting a cut because sometimes they can be quite sharp so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do um, a honey pot theme and later on when it's dry um, you can turn it into a plant pot and put some like soil in the top um, and plant something nice for rabbit's garden from Winnie the Pooh so if you've got some 
acrylic paints. I've got some uh, nice yellow here. And I'm just going to paint some like yellowy honey at the top. Okay, so I've put some yellow on the top. I sort of want it like it's like drooping down a little bit. Like honey is spinning over the side. Okay, so you've got this lovely yellow honey drooping down. And then you want to um, get like the honey pots a sort of orangey colour. So uh, if you've got some orange paint, or if you wanted it as an inside house plant, you could um, you could just use paper or something to decorate it instead. Or you can use it as a pot of pens if you like a pot for your pens, and just you don't have to use paint if you don't have paint. You can use paper, card, whatever you've got. Okay, so I'm finding this paint a little bit um, watery compared to the red one. Um, it is a different type of paint. Still acrylic, but it's uh, children's non children's non toxic acrylic. So what you might want to do is if your paint is a bit like this on your tin, you might want to let it dry and then put another layer on, just to make it thicker. But you can still get the effect. It might be quite nice and shiny in the sun. So I've got my yellow honey at the top, um, and I have got the orange here. Um, and then at the bottom of the honey pot, it's red. So um, if you want to paint that red at the bottom, yeah, this red paint goes on much better. Okay, so that's yellow honey, orange for the pot, and red for the bottom, like Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear's honey pot. And once it's dry, you can either put a sign on that says honey, or you can uh, write it on in Sharpie, or you can paint it on if you've got some black paint. I might just do it in, in blue, because that's what I've got here. H. So Pooh Bear spells it a bit weirdly. There you go, there's the honey pot for Pooh Bear's honey. And you can put a lovely plant in there once it's dry. Some soil and seeds, let it grow. We'd love to see your designs for your tin can, so please send them in. Okay, so this one here should be dry now for thing one and thing two. So if you've got some, um, like I'm just drying my hands, if you've got some double-sided sticky tape or some other tape, if you want to peel a bit off and you want to get your sign here and just put it on, bit at the top, bit at the bottom, try not to get paint on it, as you can see I'm using the messy paint palette. Lovely. Just want to peel that off, and you're going to put it on your dry tin can, okay? You might want to add a bit on the side, that's entirely up to you. Depends where you're going to put it. Lovely, so that's stuck on. You can either hang it in your house or in the garden. They're meant to be hung up in the wind but obviously if you've got paper on here then it won't um, last through the rain and the different weathers. Okay now you've got your strips you should have uh, done those earlier so if you want to get your either plastic bag strips, tissue paper strips, um, 
paper strips, anything, and you're just going to put it inside your can. I'm going to use some duct tape, but you can use sellotape, you can use double sided sticky tape, it's up to you. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here, and then I'm going to put it inside the can and stick it to the side. And I'm just going to do that with the other bits as well. There you go, if I hold this up you'll be able to see your thing to can and it blows in the wind. So on the top um, you can um, stick or glue or tape on some string so you can hang it up so a bit there and a bit there and then you can hang it on a tree or in your house and watch the ends drop and fly in the wind. Okay I hope you've enjoyed the tin can activity thank you for watching